On the track race 11 trifecta exact, the three-year-old Philly Pace, sponsored by Delaware Standard Bread Owners Association. And over downs, first 34,200. One fight like a girl, owned by Brenda Teague, the driver Brad Henners. 1A, Theatrical Hanover, owned by Kevin and Ron Fry, along with Brenda Teague. Tim Curtin in the bike. Number two is Tug River Della, owned by Bobby Mills and Michael Tate with Jim Moran. 2A, Tug River Dell, owned also by Bobby Mills and Michael Tate with Steve Warrington. Three, Insolvency, owned by Mitchell and Pearl Fisher, along with Joy Shepard, Kevin Sizer in the bike. The four, That's Just Great, owned by Frank Delaberti with Billy Mann. Number five, Nuclear Power, owned by Bill Moffat with Eddie Davis. And number six, KG Starlet, owned by Vicki Givens, Les Givens in the bike, six minutes until post time. Eleventh race field behind the gate, moving up. First thirty-four thousand two hundred. They're off from between horses. There goes Tug River Della out trying for the lead. Moving through also there. That's fight like a girl down inside. That's just great. Gets away in third. Theatrical Hanover drops in there fourth. Getting away in fifth was Insolvency, followed by Nuclear Power. The trailers on that first turn. Tug River Dell and KG Starlet. They come over toward the quarter and Fight Like a Girl gets the lead in 27 and 3 fifths. It's Fight Like a Girl leading by about two lanes. Getting away in second was Tug River Della up on the outside. Comes Theatrical Hanover. That's just great. It's back to fourth. Moving to the outside is Insolvency, also out nuclear power. Then comes KG Starlet on the outside. Tug River Dell. They go into the clubhouse turn. Up front, it's Fight Like a Girl, leading by about a length. Tug River Della is on the outside. That's just great. Has the rail in third. Right alongside is Theatrical Hanover in fourth. Insolvency races fifth on the outside. Then it's KG Starlet, Nuclear Power, and Tug River Dell, 57 and three fifths. They head up the back stretch now. And from the outside, there goes Tug River Della up to get the lead. Theatrical Hanover into second. Dropping back a bit, fight like a girl. Insolvency is up into fourth. That's his great. Shuffled in fifth. Alongside now, here comes Nuclear Power. Three quarters in 125 and four fifths. They're midway on the final turn. It's Tug River Della with a short lead. On the outside, Theatrical Hanover. Nuclear Power now is coming three wide. Right up after the leaders dropping in was Insolvency. They come toward the top of the stretch. Nuclear Power from the far outside is up to get the lead now as they come through the stretch nuclear power and theatrical Hanover battling back theatrical Hanover battles back to win it nuclear power and close for third between Tug River Della and on the outside insolvency 155 and 1 Owned by Kevin and Ron Fry, along with Brenda Teague. Trained by Brenda Teague, driven a victory by Tim Curtin. The time was 155 and 1 fifth. That's a lifetime mark for 1A Theatrical Hanover. In the winner's circle, making a blanket presentation, publicity director Marv Bachrat, along with manager of harness racing John Hensley, also in the winner's circle, representing Delaware Standard Bread Owners Association, Mr. Jim Case. Also in that winner's circle, winning driver Tim Curtin. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is the last day for the DSOA Stakes. The three-year-old division unfolds today in a tremendous uh, show by Theatrical Sh uh, Hanover to win this Philly division. Tim Curtin driving this Philly. She certainly uh, showed her class. She's raced in stakes races and uh, all over the East and so forth. Uh, how about this ride today? Uh, you know, she had the eight hole and uh, she was lucky enough to uh, fall away, I think, in the four hole. And uh, I had to come right away with her past the quarter and then uh, picked up cover. Jimmy come out with uh, the two horse there and it worked out real good. Were you a little apprehensive at the top of the stretch when uh, Eddie Davis's uh, 
nuclear horse came flying by? I sure was. He went right by me. And then that mayor came back and beat him. Well, that goes to show you what class can do in a mayor that certainly is well-seasoned. Yes. Let's uh, have a word or two about Theatrical Hanover from the guy who knows the most about her, her trainer, George Teague. You and Sister Brenda have done an outstanding job with this uh, filly. Tell me a little bit about her, uh, how you bought her, what you liked about her, and how you got her ready for this. Well, when we go to the sales, you always try to look for ones that it might be a little bit bred, better bred than most. And uh, for the price she was, she wasn't bad bred. Kevin always liked big town of mares instead of Colts and Geldens, mm -hmm. so he kind of had a bigger part of picking her up than I did, really. Did she show from the first that she was going to be uh, a real good mare? She was my favorite last year, right from the start. <laughs> Well, she raced in uh, stakes all along, and she's done very well for herself. Uh, tell me about what you have planned for her for the future. Well, I hope she can, you know, be competitive in the open mares uh, here at Dover. So, and other than that, there ain't much other plans than staying in Delaware and try to, you know, hope she feels the Phillies and mares open. Is she the type that seems to continue to improve? Yeah, yeah, she's getting better. Well, let's get Kevin and uh, Ron Fry here, two guys who certainly have been a part of this. And uh, Ron, when you uh, uh, have had horses over the years, uh, you certainly uh, have enjoyed some success. Uh, how about with this theatrical Hanover? Uh, what were your thoughts at first? Has, has she lived up to all your promises uh, from the very start? Yes, yeah, she has. Uh, George, like he said, she was our favorite. Our she was his favorite uh, from early on, and uh, he, he does a great job with all the horses. And well, he's got a terrific eye looking at young horses. Uh, how much of an influence are you and your brother in making the selection besides putting up some of the money? Well, Kevin has a pretty good eye for him, and uh, I'd like to thank him for helping me get started in this business. We've had a great year, and it's been a lot of fun. Uh, Kevin, get over here for just one second, and uh, you know, your horse, uh, Starter Hanover, has really been a sensational horse, but uh, uh, do you have a preference between male horses and female horses, or how do you uh, determine what you're going to do in the way of buying horses in the future? No, it doesn't really matter either way. <laughs> what did you like about Theatrical Hanover? Uh, big Tanner. Yeah. That was the big thing that you're looking for. Well, thank you very much for the Fry brothers, for Tim Curtin, who drove George Teague Jr., who is the uh, stable manager, and, of course, to Brenda Teague, who is the trainer of Theatrical Hanover, winner of the first of our twin features for today, the championship of the DSOA Stakes for three-year-old Philly Pacers. Coming up next, it's the Colt Division. Order of finish in the 11th race. One fight like a girl was 7th, 1A, Theatrical Hanover, the winner. 2 Tug Riverdale was 3rd, 2A, Tug Riverdale, 